Centaur AC-2 was launched on November 27, 1963 from Launch Complex 36A at Cape Canaveral. The mission had no payload as its goal was to test the new cryogenic Centaur upper stage on the Atlas LV-3C rocket, becoming the first hydrogen-fueled stage to reach orbit. In this mission, it was successful, reaching an orbit of 1,554 kilometers by 469 kilometers at a 30.3 degree inclination, but the Centaur program had been plagued with issues and would continue to be for some time to come. Work on the stage was a joint effort between the U.S. Air Force, which wanted to launch geosynchronous satellites with it, and NASA, which wanted it for Mariner and Surveyor probes. Marshall Space Flight Center was in charge of the stage on the NASA side, but that was already the home of Werner von Braun and his Saturn program, and von Braun in particular was skeptical about the Centaur stage. The stage used two RL-10 engines, and the first time two were lit on a test stand together, they exploded, as they did again two months later. On the first Atlas Centaur attempted launch, the rocket stood at Launch Complex 36A for 15 months. So it might have been a miracle that it actually launched, but about 49 seconds after launch, one of the Centaur's insulating panels was torn away and the vehicle was destroyed a few seconds later. There was an investigation during which Von Braun advised that Centaur should be cancelled and that a Saturn I with an Agena third stage could launch Surveyor and Mariner, though that would cost much more than Atlas Centaur. Instead, the program was removed from the care of Marshall Space Flight Center and put under the Lewis Center. Thankfully, this launch of AC-2 was successful, as Centaur went on to be responsible for the bulk of the exploration of the outer solar system, launching Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2, New Horizons, and other probes. It continued to have problems, AC-5 blew up Launch Complex 36A, for instance, but working through those gave engineers the experience necessary to handle cryogenics on the moon missions and more. Having been launched fairly high, the first Centaur stage to reach orbit remains in orbit to this day. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Centaur AC-2.